Inside 50, gets onto the left boot, has a shot towards the goal, and has put it through. He is class. He kicks his second. That is Hodge. Hodge goes again. Boyle, can he get through? Well, Hodge did too much, really. Comes back to him, finishes his own work. Hodge, the Sheriff's got his DNA all over it, and he bounces it home. He's an inspirational leader, um, someone who stands up uh, when most other people would like to lie down. You just watch some of the things he does, the way he puts his head over it and some of the contests um, he goes at, so I think that's a um, big thing on field, sort of just watching the way he goes about it. Humble, brave, courageous and just a really good leader, a good, a good bloke to have at your footy club. When you see you know, Hodgie's attack on the ball and you know, not only on the ground but in the air, you know, it does inspire you as a player and you, know, you want to do that yourself and um, you know, he does inspire his teammates for sure. He's got great presence whether that's um, you know, on the footy field and he's demanding the troops and telling everyone where they need to be and what they need to be doing or uh, you know, whether that's in, in meetings or just around the footy club, he's just one of those guys got big presence. He leads by example rather than by what he says. Um, if he says something he means it. But, uh, you know, he's, the, he's the leader of the football club and uh, everything he expects of someone else, he, he does himself. This is the wrestling which was going on while Roden was uh, <laughs> having oh. a shot at goal. Is that young Luke Hodge? He did he well in the end. Well, yeah. he wasn't intimidated. One thing that uh, sticks in my mind uh, with Hodgie playing in the 08 finals when he was a bit sore, had some sore ribs, and uh, when he took the field and the opposition started getting into him, and he just lifted the arm up and told him to have a crack at him. And uh, he was there to play. He's a high achiever. He wants to you know, do the best and get the best out of himself and do the best he can at whatever he's doing, whether that's uh, you know, playing cricket against Cooper, his little boy, or whether that's playing footy with us, he, uh, he doesn't like to lose. I use the war analogy a lot um, with footy. And if you were ever going to war, he's one of those guys you just want to take with you because you know that he'd, he'd do whatever needed to be done.